Often we're asked to determine a weighted mean between two sets of scores. In this case we've got one group which may be a class and they've got an average score of 52% with 24 students and we've got a second group with an average of 76% or a mean of 76% and they've got nine students. So what we want to do is work out a mean for the two groups combined. Now some people might just add the two different means up and divide them by two. But that's not correct because what we've got is one group has got 24 students and another group's got nine. So group one is going to dominate this combination. So we'd expect the weighted mean to be closer to 52 than 76. So the way to determine the weighted mean is just like before, we need to add up all the scores or find the sum of all the scores and divide by the number of them. Well, we can see that there are 33 students in total but we don't know the individual scores to add them all up. So that's a bit of a problem. What we can do though is go back to our original formula for the mean. We know that the mean is the sum of the scores divided by the number of them. So that way we can do some algebra. If we use the part of that equation which has got divide by the number and move that across to the left hand side, instead of being dividing by the number of scores, it becomes multiply by the number of scores. So that way we can see that the sum for any group of scores is the mean multiplied by the number of scores. So that means that we can work out the sum for both of the groups. The sum for group 1 is 52, which is the mean, multiplied by 24, the number of students. And the sum for group 2 is 76, so its mean, multiplied by 9, the number of students. That means we can work out the sum for each of those groups. All we need to do now is add up those two separate sums to come up with a total sum for all the scores, which in this case is 1,932. So that's the sum of all the scores. We've got the total number of scores, or in this case students, which is 33. So we can divide 1,932 by 33 and that gives us a weighted mean of approximately 58.55. And you'll notice as expected that weighted mean is closer to 52 than it is to 76, and that should be the case because group one has more scores in it, so it should dominate and the weighted mean should be closer to the mean for group one.